What's up guys? It's day two of PRI. Uh, Three Pedal J coming back to you <clears throat> again. And this time we're going to try to focus on uh, figuring out vendors that are offering cool stuff for the manual transmission platform. I met a vendor yesterday that um, I really like their gear set that they have and I want to go back and kind of talk to them and, and get a little bit more details on their gear set and what it has to offer. It's a fully, fully dog box gear set for a, uh, a T56 TR6060 platform. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty nice actually. So I want to um, do a little bit more uh, information on those guys. Um, I met with the folks at Bang Shift Billy yesterday. It was an awesome experience. I didn't really record too much of that because um, I asked a lot of personal questions um, and it was just information based, but uh, I might go back over there and, and kind of record and get feedback on um, Bang Shift Billy for you guys and kind of explain what, to you guys what it, what it does and how it's great for uh, modern platforms with a hydraulic uh, throw out bearing, release bearing. Um, the guys at Ticker here, G Force is here. So I want to kind of stop and see those guys. And then um, also Comp Turbo, the Oilless Turbo company, is here as well. And I want to talk with those guys uh, because, as you guys know, I've had a couple issues with my uh, turbo oil drain. Um, and well, Oil list is an option at this point, so I want to kind of check that out and see what we can do on that front. Um, we saw a couple of cool piston manufacturers. I mean, I, I've known all of these guys, but uh, some piston offerings that I, I looked at for the next 6.4 uh, build, so there, there's that. Um, yeah, uh, I think Dan is here from the Monastery Hemi Shootout, the owner of the Monastery Hemi Shootout. So. Uh, I'd like to talk to him too if I can catch up with him. Um, I didn't get to meet Alex Taylor, so I want to try to meet Alex Taylor and a couple other people that I kind of kind of enjoy. But hopefully, uh, we can have just of a just as an epic day today as we did yesterday. Yesterday was quite honestly overwhelming, and I'm still kind of riding that high. So hopefully, we will uh, we'll continue to have a great time here. So see you guys at PRI. Bye. Badass Challenger. Oh yes, it's got three pedals. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's got a Gen 3 Hemi with a Whipple on it. We already love this ride. It's Mopar all day. Yes. Woodmaster. I can't tell if it's a Hellcat block or not. I can't see it. It's it's a a you can tell it's a Hellcat because of the ribs. Oh yeah, it does have the ribs. Good call of day. Hey, there's your cool. sleeve. Is this a, I think this is a Hellifant right here. Is this a Hellifant? I can't tell. Is it a BGD? No. Uh, BGE block. Look at these these valve covers are pretty bad, eh? Look, they've got the built-in uh, they've got built-in breathers for you, so you can just put. Yeah. These are pretty nice. These are legit. I just sold them the other day, but I can't remember. The only thing I'm wondering about, though, oh no, so this is probably this is probably for putting oil in it. It's probably for putting oil yeah, in it. Oil release. That's an oil guy, but there's a breather and, there. And there's a breather there, yeah. That's pretty legit. I like this. This that is a, would, that would have to be baffled though. Yeah, but this is a good alternative to having to run the ugly Hellcat stuff because oh, yeah. it makes it easier to change the the spark plugs and everything. That's pretty legit. What do you think? Uh, I think I build Hemi's all day long, and I like your valve covers. You like that? So get this. Wait, I'm sorry. What's your name? I'm Jay. Uh, you're on I'm my Jay. my channel, Three Pedal Jay. You mind me just talking with you real quick? Oh, yeah, man. What's up, man? Nice to meet you, dog. Chad is your president of uh, DSR Performance. Cool, man. Cool. This is Dave. He's my boss. I, we work, I work at a Viz shop, EFI Specialties. Dude, this is a pretty nice little piece. I like it. Brand new Schumacher series. Okay. Starting with a 1200 horsepower supercharged crate engine. Okay. This okay, so the hell from the bottom up. Yeah. And it was designed for ultimate power, but also ultimate drivability. Absolutely. Absolutely. This 1200 horsepower is great, but a lot of times you can see like this... Uh, 70 Cuda. Oh yeah, we were lot, looking at this. A lot this of our beautiful. customers 
a lot of crews. They want an engine that has raw horsepower, but want to be able to go do the boulevard cruise and enjoy the vehicle. Yeah. So that's what this crate engine offers, and that's what really there's a big gap in the industry for. So top of line parts, but now we offer, we've de developed a technology around the valve train, and obviously engineered and designed these really badass valve covers. Yeah, those and valve covers are legit. To the customers and for their Hellcats. So we were literally just talking about it. Now buy that. And not, not even furthermore, we actually offer this bill of valve cover, which you make at our shop in Brownsburg, Indiana. This whole thing is built, engineered and built in Brownsburg, Indiana. Nice. HQ just outside of Indy. We offer these also as a bill of blank. So customers okay. want to do their own engraving, own color. I know a lot of guys like to do like paint match. Yeah. Throughout the car. That is cool. You buy this the bare billet. What's uh what's a price point for that, if you don't mind us asking? Price point on that is twenty nine hundred. Okay. Per set. Very nice. Engineer nice. with the baffling So it's got it does horsepower. have the baffling in it, yeah. Oh god, yeah. That's one of the biggest things is important on especially these uh, types of crate engines. Yeah. Or even even the Hellcat uh, platform is you need to have the right baffling so that you're not getting a bunch of oil splash yeah. and, and flow back. Absolutely. Any, anytime I see fittings on the back like that, it always worries me about the baffling because I've seen so many cars where they put fittings back there. We, and you, go, you go make a pass down the track and it dumps but, all but that's the, the oil. That's the, the difference yeah. though between <laughs> we took the engineering that we used here and apply that into all the products. So this has that internal baffling yeah. so that you're not getting that total, you're not flooding your whole bath. That's nice. That's nice. And you're, Very you're, cool. You're, so your oil catch ain't gonna be filled in, in a week. Very you know, cool. Very People cool. fill them up in one pass. Oh, I fill mine up all the time. <laughs> Two passes down the, on the track. Right here. On this side. Go take a look at them. Yeah, we, we deal primarily in Hemi, Hemi uh, platforms, so we're, we're not the average guys that are just out here looking. We deal like exclusively in Hemi's. Hell yeah. yeah so. so three key oh, here three new products, our bill of valve covers, bill of valve covers. cylinder heads, and our new steel stabilizers, rocker shaft stabilizers. These make a difference. Aluminum, oh, yeah. aluminum, I mean shit. You know, yeah, I, have, pieces. I have a yeah. set of, I have a set of the, uh, the Manton ones. We got all new cool parts for Hemi, guys. From DSR. If you guys are in the market for some cool Hemi stuff, please come check out DSR. Uh, excellent guys to talk to, excellent guys to work with, and uh, I actually really dig these these billet uh, valve covers. This, these I will probably put on my Dakota project. So that's pretty cool. What's nice is you can locate your your uh, your oil uh, breathers either anywhere you want what is, is this dash 12 or dash 16 it's a dash 12 it's a dash 12 fitting yeah baffling Very on cool. both sides cool cool it's awesome you got the they got steel stabilizer bars for us high rpm shifting guys that's pretty awesome compared to the stanky stuff i know people don't want to talk about other products but g pedal j doesn't care um they do they offer if you look down here they offer porting on their their heads uh looks like it's cnc ported looks like the stuff that we do in house by hand so that'll save us some time if we just go and use their porting so give these guys a, sh a shout guys appreciate your time thanks man billet gen 2 or gen 2 hemi 426 six based look at this damn thing man this thing is amazing and this guy they've got Big block Hemi castings here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at the ports on these guys. What? I've never seen one of your blocks up close before. What? This is amazing. Yeah. Awesome. So we're at the Manton uh, booth at PRI, guys. How you doing? What's your name, sir? Uh, this is Trevor Manton from Manton Push Rods and Manton Rock Arms. Uh, this would uh, essentially be a bolt-on upgrade rock arm system for a Gen 3 Henry or Hellcat T-Rex. It has a 250 wall heat-treated chrome ollie shaft to help aid in the cylinder head stability to act like a cylinder head girdle as we raise, raise boost rpm nice uh, this is what i need dude additional height as a bridge span tower will add stability to the bridge surface like when you have traffic on it okay. so that way we would have less likelihood of a gasket failure okay. because of the head's distortion we also have made a tool steel roller rock arm to allow for more lift accommodation than the factory shoe 
And then we have inserted a bronze bushing at the shaft, so at a high RPM, if the rocker arm oh, okay. uh, is flexing a small amount, it cannot butt weld itself. Here's that bronze the bushing shaft. right here, guys. So the shaft oh, itself, I really do like in between this. here, on the side, there's an intermediary bushing. In oh, I see it, I see it. That's and the cool. rocker. Like in a true Gen 2 Hemi or yeah, top fuel that is, system. That is bad tail. And then the roller and pin are the same tool steel roller rocker arm materials that we would put into a top fuel car or a blown alcohol car. Uh, we have customers making upwards of 2,600 horsepower on a hydraulic roller with the same yeah. setup. And then ARP fasteners, upgraded fasteners, get rid of the 10.9 ISOs, go to yeah. a nice fastener. Uh, link bar here is more perceived value than anything, but it will give a uh, additional support to the fastener because intake and exhaust are linked together a small amount. And then the collar here is to limit the amount of push rod or rock arm movement if the push rod starts to deflect. If the push rod were to kiss the port pole of the cylinder head, that will limit the amount the rock arm can move over, uh, but it will create drag. If we were to use the collar, there is oil spillage coming around it, creating a layer of oil so there's no contact, but the push rod will be better aligned than the port pole of the cylinder head itself and not have interference. Um, bearing surfaces are fully nitrided like your block firearm. Okay. So the shaft is nitrided, the rock arm body is nitrided, oh, so wow. it is a dry bearing surface, so prior to oil pressure being built, it won't try and butt weld or stick or gall like the top push rod tip you may see has smearing on it. That's uh -huh. from a lack of oil at firing. So it is designed as a bolt-on upgrade for everything from the guy that just wants to have extra insurance factor for their Mecham car that's getting a, resto pro a restoration project. Listen, we build, we build or, race cars in our, our setup. Or if we got a real race car. Again, high RPM shifting. High RPM, 2600 horsepower is yeah. very safe with this. Anything the hydraulic roller can handle, a hydraulic roller lifter can handle, this can handle. And if you wanted to go solid roller, I will make you a push rod to the exact thousands to set your lash with this for the time being with the factory head. We will be coming out with a fully adjustable system that will be able to be set with an LSM lash tool. You will not need special tools and that will have to be used with our covers, but that will be for your solid roller customers or if you wanted to easily preload the lifter body. But I would suggest using this system if we're using a hydraulic roller. Yes. Yeah. Pieces less things that could go wrong. So I, I run a hydraulic roller in my car and I think you have one in yours, right? Here's a hydraulic roller. Stock. That's stock hydraulic. Yeah, stock. so we have a hydraulic stock. roller. Yep. I have a high lift hydro. I have a 635 yep. inch lift cam, so. And this will allow more lift in any application because the edge of the shoe will get to the tip and it'll act like a cutting surface uh, or a file okay. and start to dig into the tip of the valve. The roller can get more total yep. lift without yep. edge riding yep. the shoe. Absolutely. So in even a naturally aspirated application when we're trying to do big lift, this will handle an abundance more lift because the roller bearing, not edge riding the shoe of uh, yeah. the rocker body. So with this system, does it come with, do we have to buy the, the, the valve, valve covers, covers as well or? Valve covers come separate because we have several different options. This would be a Hellcat style cover here with the coil packs upside down to move the boot down away from the charger. Yep. We also offer a factory 392 style cover with the boot facing up. Okay. We also offer a factory cover dual breather, one at each end with no coil mounts for remote or oh, no. with coil mounts. Okay. All of the covers are the same price. Okay. But you choose the option. Okay. And if you want them raw or black anodized. What are, what's the price point? Roughly eighteen hundred for the top of the line. If you want them with black anodizing, these will come with your Felpro gaskets included okay. with the cover, so you don't reuse any of the factory gaskets. Okay. Um, and st all stainless fasteners. Nice. No reusing the factory fasteners. Uh, and again, there's options just like push rods. So if you want yeah. something special, it's harder to. I, I got to get you guys to make me a set of push rods. I talked to you. I don't know if it was. I think it was you on the phone maybe a year ago for a while about the setup of my car. And uh, 
I ended up not doing it at the time, but then I did buy the shafts and the stabilizers. So I guess my question is, if I bought the shafts and the stabilizers by themselves, is this the same, just a different color than? So this is black only to make it look good for the show. Okay. So okay. The, blue, the blue ones you have now are the same. Okay. It's just so, making it look nice because this is for everybody to look at jewelry. So if I wanted to, I could buy. Can I get it in black? I could buy just these in the Because that's kind of sexy, dude. I guess it has something to look a little more like that as far as. Yeah, the, that's the what I think. So. How much is the the setup for for this? The complete roller rocker system with shafts, tie bars, ARP bolts mm -hmm. uh, would be about forty two hundred dollars. The complete okay. system, and again, this is a tool steel system. Yeah, no, no, no. I understand. I'm and not. And the covers again would be separate. So you're looking at like seven grand for everything. By the time we get push rods, because we offer different push rods, if you want two hundred and seventy thousand psi push rod, like an ARP six twenty five or if you want 170,000 PSI push rod like an ARP 425, if we're investing in this, I'd suggest the better heat treatment. Yeah. But we can do whatever you would like, so it does change the price a small amount. Okay. But we're the custom tailored suit manufacturer, so you tell us the color and the size and we'll make it. Yeah, I know. You guys are legit. I, oh, I'm i about to sell one of my kids so I can afford I know you. Steve Morris, dude. How you doing, sir? <laughs> Good. How are you? How you doing? I'm Three Pedal J. I'm sorry that you like came in on our uh, our stuff, but like you're here now, so you're gonna make my video amazing. I appreciate you. We're the we we build Hemi's uh, Gen Three Hemi's out of our shop in uh, in Fredericksburg, Virginia. So Mantic is obviously you know better than I do. Mantic Mantic are the guys to talk to, and we're looking at their rocker setup. I looked at some other people's rocker setup because I really want to roll a rocker setup in my yeah. my next build. So yeah. it's pretty this is pretty trick stuff. I just I need to sell a kid to get it though. Okay. Cool. We're so, patient. It won't go anywhere. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you guys thank so you. much. Thank you, man. Thank I appreciate you. you. American made and family owned. Only, always. I appreciate you getting on. Let me video you, I interview you. That means you a lot. Guys. Mr. Morris, I appreciate you. You are definitely one of my favorite builders. I'm not saying that because you're here. I really mean that. My wife will confirm that. So thank you, man. All right. People. Is that Andy? That is Andy. How's it going? How do I come all the way to freaking Indiana and I freaking see you, dude? <laughs> What's up? Say hi to my Three Pedal J gang. Three Pedal J gang. Oh, Don't up? worry about it. Just say hi. How you doing, Deshaun? How are you? Good to see you. I didn't know if I could or not. Oh. Be... There's Josh. What's up, dude? Good to see you. Come out to Indiana and I see you. How you doing, sir? How's it going, Craig? Good, how are you? Still can't afford your head, so I'm not doing so well. <laughs> he has a show special. I bet he does. <laughs> does he have a, I'll sponsor you, Jay Special? Probably not. <laughs> We're here in uh, Ditech, my favorite place, Heads. Um, looks like they have a cool ass block here. Dude, dude, I like this. I like this. Oh, that's a slow ass work. Oh, I'm going to. Look at the port and the finish on these. These are Craig's Ditech heads. This is uh, the creme de la creme in the Hemi world. There you go. Here's an up close and personal look at them. The ports are insane on these guys. Here's an unfinished set. Yeah, if you want to go fast in the Hemi world, you definitely want to use some of these if you're not using stock stuff. Everything else, in my opinion, doesn't cut it. There you go. Looking at this. Oh, is this the new schedule? Oh, this is the schedule. I gotta take this home with me. Here's a new Mountain Street Hemi shootout schedule for this year, 2024. Here's Rockingham schedule. I'm gonna grab that. And then here's Craig's stuff. Cool. So coming over and checking out all the cool Hemi stuff guys these guys if you guys uh, are out here trying to build Hemi's definitely come check out Craig at Ditech and Josh at HHP as well hey guys it's Drew Pedal J and I'm back at Turbo Smart because these are my boys and I just found out that I can actually run an e-gate on my setup and oh boy am I excited we've already talked to fuel tech per your recommendation yesterday um, they've got NATO control into the fuel tech setup so our FT 550 will work and I just found out that this little bugger here, which probably I'm gonna have to sell my kids for, um, 
Bolt to my existing Hellion setup. It's a 45 millimeter uh, gate setup that I currently have. No more plumbing, no more worry about blowing off valves. And what is your name again, sir? My name is Richard. Richard. This is Richard, we're Turbo Smart. He's my new best friend. And tell me a little bit about this gate, please, and thank yeah, you. Definitely, man. So this is our, well, let me preface, this is our straight gate line. We have uh, multiple sizes, pneumatic, electronic, and just a month ago at SEMA, we actually released two new sizes. This monstrosity right here, the 76. Yeah, buddy, I can't afford Three it. inches, probably oh, make yeah. your car naturally aspirated if you really wanted to. That's what and then this smaller compact guy, the straight gate 40. The cool thing about this one is the inlet and outlet are actually going to match up to existing 44, 45, and 46 millimeter inlet weld flanges that are already on most existing flanges nice. for the turbo manifolds that are already on the market. Yep. So it's just as simple to mount that to it. You could always clock this three different directions, 360 degrees this way. This will outflow anything in that size class of 44, 45, and 46. So you're also getting that, just better flow overall. And with it being a butterfly style valve, yeah, you get better like. linear control. That's what we like. That butterfly valve setup is really, really nice. I yeah. like that. Yeah, because yesterday we were talking about these, and he was like, man, I don't, I don't think I can fit one of those on the car. Then I was thinking about it last night. I was like, man, we got to stop back by here because I think we can fit one of these on it. The yeah. I, I, I was I was arguing that I couldn't. I was like, nah, dude. Shape difference, I but think yeah, and I then this is this is much better because with the Hellion set, set up on a on a Gen 3 Hemi setup, yeah. right? Everything's mounted mid where the right. where the uh, cast used to be. It's very very tight. And then where my gate is, it's almost tight to the floorboard. And this being able to be clocked, I can get that in an angle where it'll actually work. So exactly. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm gonna get the part number here because I gotta see. Y'all got any? any, you any modify your pipes a bit, but I, I think, don't care. I think we can make these fit. You got any uh, show discounts I can use? We're gonna take a picture of we that don't guy. We technically sell direct to the public, but no, we have distributors all over the country yeah, that will be happy to sell you stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have, okay. I have distributors that work with them. So I definitely am gonna look into getting these deals. What is the price point on these, if you don't mind me asking? Or so off the top of my head, I don't know the exact price but for instance this is about so the 50 millimeter the size above it is about 1400 msrp okay you find about 10 percent less when you get it from one of our dealers like okay anyone that typically sells performance turbo parts okay uh, so this will be a little bit less probably a little over a thousand okay i just don't know these it's numbers. still that gate looks for like the, it's going to be worth it so going for what it offers deal? yeah in terms of performance uh, and uh, posting your kidney for sale my kidney for sale at Maurice yeah. junk um <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, I might sell like my old Dakota, I might sell my Rivy, and I'm gonna figure out how to make this happen because I like that. I don't figure out how to make that happen, but cool. I appreciate you, Richard. Of course, bro. man. Thank you so much. You've been awesome, been a great help for me these last two days, and you made my PRI an awesome experience. So thank man, you, man. Happy we could do that for you. All right. Sorry, dude. Oh, no, no worries. Just made it to DSS. Uh, Booth and just wanted to come take a look at some of this stuff. Uh, we run DSS Assholes in the Challenger, Frankenstein, and just wanted to come and check it out. I have a question for you guys, for someone. Do you guys um, still make axles for, like I have a Paramount built A8 conversion. I know you guys bought the designs, if you will, from Paramount. It's like that right there. Mm -hmm. um, but you, that that would be, I don't know if that's a nine inch or not, I think it is. You guys have the nine inch. But it use, I think it uses the same type of axles for my Challenger. So yep. if I needed to order axles from you guys and I have a part number that you guys provided, yep. could I get that reduplicated? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Anything you've done before, we should be able to, no problem, to make you a new setup. Awesome sauce, man. I appreciate it. You guys have always taken care of me in the past. Here's Jeff, Jeff Lutz's uh, 57 that they just rebuilt from Stainless Works support. Uh, this deal is twin turbos in the front. Uh, looks like remote gates. This is pretty legit. Cool, man. Look at this. Wow. Full interior. This is a piece right here, man. It's even got freaking cup holders. Oh, this is really super cool. And here's the GTO that uh, Butts and uh, Clay Milliken built. And I forget her name. Um, she helped build it as well. Here's that deal. Wow, it's pretty nice. And I'm running out of battery life. Oh no. Off hey guys, it's Jay, 3 Pro Jay again, and I came across the IC Chiller uh, booth, and I'm here with Sal. Summit Coil. Summit Coil. 
and he's uh, representing the IC Chiller. So this is uh, a a. Oh, rather than me try to explain, can you tell me a little bit about your product for the people out here that are like the two people that are watching my channel? <laughs> oh, yeah, we can do that. So what we do, we use the AC system. You know, a lot of people know about the like OG Demons, yep. Demon 170. They yep. came from the factory. Yeah. So they had a the chiller yeah. system in the car. Absolutely. So the whole goal is a lot of people running in ice tanks in the car. You have to catch like a 20 pound of ice yep. and all the stuff. So we came with a similar kind of system. They came in the OG Demons, but our bricks are like a three size of size. Of the bigger than the demon okay oh i didn't yes. know that yes that's a three size of the demon brake so what we use we piggyback into the ac system okay to cool down your intercooler chill so Fantastic. we have seen like you know 30 to 50 degree temperature lower than the ambient just using wow. the chiller system wow well, that's that's a huge amount that's good for iits more that's power the whole dense goal. 30 to 50 degrees is a yes. lot especially on a 90 degree day 90 degree day wow so what we have seen well, like, we have a lot of like healthcare guys running like a 75 upper 10 percent lowers they're running up like a chiller system they're running up a box tank yep they're seeing a temperature around like a 110 to 120 on the air charge intake manifest okay but if you don't run any of these systems your temperature is going to go to 170 180 so that's a big difference yeah you are not losing any more power that's the whole reason of these systems you know, like you know the idea came from the demons actually i'm not we're not going to take the credit i used to run an ice tank in my own car yeah. for like a three years I got tired, man. Like, you know, all the ice you gotta have, like, what, 10 like bags of 10 pound bags? That's 100 pounds of ice you right go there. To the track, you lose the first round. What's gonna happen to the another 10 bags? <laughs> <laughs> you I've, been, I've been there too. You've seen me losing the first round, oh, so I know, I, done I know, too. I know how that goes. Like, you know, what are you gonna do with that yeah. ice? Man, like, you know, so with this system, smell like you just go. You can drive you know, like your car on the street yeah. all the time. Oh, absolutely. No loss, nothing. Your car's cooling down. You enjoy the cabin AC. You enjoy the chillers. Here's another trick what we did. Even the red eye, the okay. super stock came from the chiller. Uh -huh. But this system is you cannot have a cabin AC with the chiller system. Oh. But with our system, in those cars, you can enjoy the cabin ACs. Plus, nice. we can enjoy our system. So wow. even the factory doesn't do that. No. We need our system to do that. So nice nice hey guys so if you guys are still watching my 10 followers if you guys got hellcats out there hopefully they're three pedal hellcats but i'll let you slide if they're not check out ic chillers uh this is an excellent system the quality the craftsmanship you can see here all of these parts custom all these parts are custom and it's not like cobs it looks like it's legit stuff look at this bracket if you don't mind me pointing at it look at this bracket here you can't go wrong, man. These guys have been out for a while. The IC Chiller, uh, a couple of people in my group chat run it. It's it's a, it's a viable alternative to an ice tank. Uh, you might want to give it a shot. So cool. Thank you for your time. Thanks for chatting with me on camera. I appreciate you. Hey guys, this is Jay. PRI has come to a conclusion for me, but I'm downtown uh, Indianapolis, and this is like the total vibe. They've got like lights for the buildings for the flag they've got this amazing lighted tree type thing this is like a complete vibe down here they've got a homage to all the american um military so if you look over here that looks like that is the marine corps that is my world fi finest u.s navy over here is the army and I don't know if I see Coast Guard or not, but either way you look at, oh, look at this. They got a horse and carriage ride going on. That's pretty dope. Um, this is like a complete vibe, a little circle. Here's another horse and carriage ride right here. This is pretty amazing, man. Like I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging downtown. Everybody from PRI is out still. Lots of people, lots of families. So I am going to conclude our PRI experience and I'm going to say thanks for watching. I hope this was informative. I hope I brought some um, some valuable information, some new products that are out there. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the racing season, man. Peace.